Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we'll see what are the steps which gets enabled or what are the services which gets enabled when you create a project for the first time. So for that, let's create a project. Click on new project. Give a name. The name of the project is Learn GCP Concepts with Mahesh. Since the name is very unique, the project ID is going to be the same thing. So that's a good thing. Click on create. The project is successfully created. Let's switch to the project which we just created now. Once you switch to this project, we'll see what and all things gets activated automatically. The first thing is let's go to Cloud IAM to see what and all the roles which a default project will have. So let's click on that. Now, if you come and see in Cloud IAM, it's only one user, which is the owner who created this project. That's me here. So that's it. And you don't have any other stuff. So if you just go to your service account, you see nothing. It should be empty. It's empty there. So this is the first thing. Now let's try to launch our Cloud Shell environment. So we are in our Cloud Shell environment. Let me clear the screen and let's run this command G Cloud Services list, which will list all the services which is enabled in this project. And let's see what and all the uh, services which gets enabled by default. So these are the services which gets enabled by default without you doing any resource provisioning. So this is point number two. Now let me just minimize it and since this is our first time we have accessing this project, the moment I go to Compute Engine, the API gets enabled. By the time this gets enabled, what is happening behind the scene is you can go to Cloud IAM and you can see what's happening. We'll just open this in a new browser. At the same time, we can go to VPC and see what's really happening. So you will get to know the details there. So when you click on the compute engine for the first time, the API gets enabled by enabling the APIs. You will have a VPC created. The VPC name is by default called as default. That's one thing. So let's wait for the screen to come up. All right, the screen has come up and you see the service accounts getting created. And if you just go to your comp, uh, VPC, you should see the default VPC getting created. So let's just see it here. The screen is loading. You see that the default VPC is still in progress. So it's getting created. And if you go back to your compute engine screen, the API should still show it's getting created. Let's wait here for a minute here to see. Once the API gets completely finished, you should have your default VPC created and we already have our default service account created for our compute engine. So soon we should see our default VPC also getting created. If you don't want this behavior to happen every time when you create a project and you don't want this to create your a default VPC at an organization level, you can disable it. So that I already have it in one of my YouTube videos. You can just look into that and let's wait for a minute here to see whether our APS gets enabled. So you see that the default VPC got created. And now if you go back to your this thing, you will see your normal screen of your compute engine. Now you can go ahead and create your compute engine. Next, what we'll do is we'll rerun the same command which we ran previously and now see and if you see there's no compute options, no compute APIs and we have just enabled it. If I just rerun it again, you should see the new entry which is mostly your compute options. So let me just make it still bigger so that you can see it. So the one important thing which was missing in the previous stuff was your compute API. So you had stack trace and afterwards you had cloud data store. Now it got enabled. So what else is enabled apart from that? Uh, the OS cloud OS login API has got enabled. So these are some important APIs which gets enabled when you activate your 
project for the first time. So hope the information is helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific GCP concept. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.